I'm Eddie Robson. Uh, I'm the author of Drunk on All Your Strange New Words, uh, a new novel from Tor.com. Uh, and today we're going to be drinking a nice glass of uh, Nika Whiskey from the Barrel. So I'd like to talk about uh, what's most important about writing aliens in science fiction. Uh, and the thing that comes to mind for me is uh, the avoidance of cliché, because we have a lot of clichés about aliens. Uh, and because of the way that we've kind of come up with them as humans, they feel like a very human thing, uh, the clichés that we, we make about aliens. Uh, and they inherently sort of don't feel alien. Uh, they immediately feel like, you know, we've slipped into a human thought process. Um, but then again, it is genuinely difficult, I think, uh, to write a truly alien thought process. There's a sort of paradox at work here, because uh, as a human, anything that comes out of your human brain uh, sort of is a human thought process. Even if it's trying to mimic an alien thought process, it's inherently a human thought process. And unfortunately, when you're writing a book, uh, your human brain is all you really have to work with. But then again, it's a cop out to say, well, they're just unknowable and we can't really describe how they think because, you know, you want to get some of that alienness in there. And I think a lot of this comes out through language. Um, you know, you often get the sci-fi cliche of the alien who just talks like a slightly posh bloke without any colloquialisms and without any contractions. And I think on the point of colloquialisms in particular, uh, I can see why that happens, because colloquialisms do leap out as a human thing, don't they? Um, you know, they, they kind of come out of our own associations and our own experiences. Uh, and it feels like um, they're the things that tend not to translate. I mean, even between human languages, they're the things that are least likely to translate and that need a bit of explanation. So this is a bit of a quandary. And I guess I got round that in Drunk and All Your Strange New Words because the logi in my book uh, are telepathic. Uh, and I figured that if this is uh, their, their language is being processed through a human brain, as it is in the book, uh, then it's got that kind of layer of, of humanity laid over it. So uh, anything that feels alien, I can say, well, that's the alien part of things. And anything that feels a bit human, I can say, well, that's the translator kind of feeling what they mean and managing to put their own spin on it the, to try and explain it to other people. Um but the thing that uh, I, I, I really uh, wanted to do in the book is to suggest this alien way of approaching things, uh, which manifests itself in, in the Logi by their uh, complete antipathy for digital technology and the fact that they simply don't understand it. Um, and that gave me a nice opportunity because, you know, it is a book, the novel, uh, is that the common ground that they have with us is books. So in a way, it's sort of a celebration of books as the common cultural link 